Hello Aquarius, welcome to your future love spread. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. The link to the extended reading will be below where we will dive into your future love's energy, see how they feel about you and what you can expect. Also hang out to the very end of the reading. I'm gonna pull some additional cards for you depending if you're Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So hang out for that. All right, Aquarius, let's see what your future love looks like. We're going to take a look at you, them, what you're looking for, what they're looking for, how you both will want to move forward, and then what is your relationship together. All right, let's start with you. Who are you coming into the reading? The Hermit, major for Virgo. Who's your future love? What is their energy currently? The Star. Look, it's you, Aquarius, major arcana. <laughs> All right, what are you looking for in a lover, Aquarius? Three of Wands. What are they looking for in a lover? The Nine of Cups. All right. How are you going to want to move forward with this person? What are you going to want with them? The lovers in reverse. Aquarius. What's up with that? Gemini energy. All right. We're going to move all this down so you can see your cards. How are they going to want to move forward with you? The Magician. All right. And what does your relationship look like together? You've got the King of Swords in reverse. All right, could be your energy for sure, whether you're male or female. All right, so let's get all of these cards moving around. All right, and how are you going to want to move forward, your relationship? Got it. All right, hopefully y'all can see those okay. All right, let's start clarifying this bad bitch of a reading and see what is going on. All right, so coming into the reading, you're showing us the hermit, sign of Virgo. So a lot of you are just taking your time. That hermit is very slow energy. Hermit is all about seeking wisdom, reflecting on a situation, kind of going within. Some of you right now are even just kind of pulling away from love or a particular person. If you're already with this person, you're seeking knowledge. You want to kind of know what's next. And again, that hermit is all about researching a situation. You might even just be pulling away. You might be kind of just ghosting. You can be the hermit and even be in a connection with someone. It just means that, you know, you need some you time and you're trying to figure something out. They're the nine of cups. So this person is, you know, definitely into dating. With that Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups obviously is wish fulfillment. If you're with this person, they feel very satisfied with you. Your future love. So those of you who are like, I'm single mom, what the hell? They're coming in. This person is takes care of themselves, right? When you're the Nine of Cups, you're somebody who enjoys life. You take care of yourself. You go to the gym. You know, you might even be a little overindulgent, but you're eating right. And, you know, you're, you're looking for that person that you can manifest a very strong emotional connection with. And you're hopeful, right? You want those wishes to come in. All right, let's start clarifying and see what's up. So why are you the hermit coming in, Aquarius? What's this about? And the Eight of Wands movement some of you are just kind of on your own you might even be traveling but who you are coming into this future love spread you want change and i think a lot of you are really reflecting on that because that eight of wands isn't just communication yeah you're moving on from something and this with the six of swords the eight of wands is manifestation and it's change it's forward movement releasing the past believe it or not it can be the energy of release and then forward movement a lot of you guys are moving away from could be a specific person remember this is just coming into the reading this doesn't have to mean you know moving away from the future love some of you are traveling as well and if you are traveling you're thinking about doing it solo or you are solo you're just kind of pulling away. I think a lot of you are just trying to get to a better, more calm, kind of peaceful place in your thoughts right now. And you really, really are just moving slowly, you know, when it comes to love. Who are they? So coming into the reading, who's this future love? What's their energy? Nine of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, look at those cups. Could be a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or they have that in their chart. Yeah, Page of Cups, Pisces. This person's looking for love. They're doing all the right things. They're manifesting right now. So whether you know this person now or not, I mean, it is a future love spread. But they are open to new love. This is a dreamer too, right? The Page of Cups is somebody who pursues a dream. Uh, you know, with all the cups there, emotion. And, uh, they have emotion. They're ready for love. They're ready to fall in love. 
this person's also in a place of, again, doing things to please them, to make themselves happy. An overly emotional person, perhaps, but also quite intuitive and really does believe in the concept of falling in love and wants to fall in love. What are you looking for in a lover, Aquarius? The Three of Wands with the Eight of Cups. You're looking for somebody who can pick it up and move forward, right? The Three of Wands is all about like, listen, that's the direction I want. I've got passion with the wands. I'm taking action, but I'm just waiting for it to all come in. I've done the work. I know what I want. I know where I want to go. I know where I've been. I'm able to leave the past in the past. So you're absolutely looking probably for somebody who's a little creative as well with the Three of Wands. You know, again, maybe somebody that likes to travel can kind of just get up and go and turn their back on the past and, and move forward. What's this Eight of Cups? What is it? Yeah. And get up and go in a hurry. Knight of Swords. You're definitely not looking. It's funny because you're right now, you're in the energy of like, mm, let me take a minute, right? I got some stuff to release. Maybe I want to travel. Some of you are looking for somebody that you can travel with as well. But what you're looking for in a lover is somebody who's, who's, sure of themselves right that knight of swords very fast energy i mean it's like the fastest moving knight of the deck they're getting up they're moving they're going maybe even a little bit impulsive i have a feeling that a lot of you are looking for a lover that can just be like hey let's get in the car and go do you know what i mean it feels very aries energy some of you are connecting with an aries or you have for those of you who you know aren't single and are connecting with somebody, we're still looking at the future with this person. But I definitely feel like Aquarius is looking for somebody who can just kind of get up and go, spontaneous. Again, maybe a bit impulsive. I'm hey, I'm on board with it. I'm good. What are they looking for in a lover? Your future lover. What are they looking for? They got the King of Swords in reverse. Well, that's interesting. And the Wheel of Fortune change this person has dealt with lovers in the past or relationship situations where people were just kind of cut off there was this distance you know it was kind of cold kind of icy there could have been a lot of lies in the relationship so this person is definitely you know how some people will always gravitate towards the same type of person mm -mm. this person wants somebody completely different somebody who they can have a conversation with somebody who's open trustworthy isn't gonna effing lie to them what's this wheel of fortune and who can get up and go too you guys are you guys want a lot of the same things this person is looking for somebody who can adapt to change is willing to change free spirit yeah with the high priestess that isn't closed off you got pisces energy this person could i feel like this person's quite spiritual too aquarius whatever that means to them whether that's tarot reiki whatever astrology or just, you know, because this person's a little bit of a free spirit and with all the cups, if they're not a water sign, I just feel like this person believes in strong, like their ability to use that intuition and to manifest. So what they're looking for is also with that high priestess, remember, she is quite spiritual. She's, you know, she's quiet. She can be closed off, but she also represents a very strong psychic connection. Somebody who believes in magic and can work that magic. So I think you're connecting with somebody here who is at least open to the possibility of sharing that magic. You know, this is somebody who believes in some sort of spirituality and they want somebody who's open to that as well. How are you going to want to move forward with them? The lovers in reverse. That's interesting. Gemini energy and the sun. Lovers in reverse. There's a breakup that's happened here outside of this connection. Now, if you're already connecting or this is an ex or something like that, you definitely want to reconcile. There's been a breakup or somebody's feelings have changed. But with the sun, you've got Gemini Leo energy there with the sun. This is reconciling, healing, having a really good time. It's a very healing energy after something's come apart. Also, I keep going back to how you're going to want to move forward with them. The lovers in the upright can be a very strong soulmate card, right? Energy. In reverse, there's been a soulmate, like a, a cord that's been tied or somebody's tried or tied. A cord that has been broken or somebody has tried to do. I, why do I get that you guys are going to have conversations about like soulmate, twin flames, that kind of thing. But moving forward with this person, what you're going to want is healing and happiness 
after a heavy breakup, either on your end or their end, could have even been together. But it's very light. It's very much energy of like, let's just have a good time, right? Let's get up and go. Let's travel. Let's go across town on a, on a bike, on a motorcycle, on a big wheel. Who knows? What's the sun? It's very light and fun energy. Yeah, because the five of swords, you got, you've been in some heavy energy. There's your uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You don't want anything heavy because you've already been there. You've already dealt with that. So moving forward, this is not like, hey, let's start picking out China patterns. This is like, hey, let's get to know each other. We have a lot in common. You make me happy. I make you happy. There's like this healing aspect when we're together. It feels very happy and light and warm after a really heavy energy you've been through, they've been through, or you've been through together. How are they going to want to move forward, Aquarius? They've got the magician. Why is the magician here? So why will they want the magician moving forward? And justice, two major arcana. So you've got uh, Gemini, Libra energy there with justice. Balance. The magician also, too, they want to keep creating there's something that they want to manifest with you, con you know, starting with some sort of like spirituality, some sort of like opening your eyes or opening their eyes to, to something different that you both are already interested in, if that makes sense. And revisiting that. Justice, of course, is balance, right? Justice, of course, is doing the right thing. And it's nice. I like their energy. It's truthful. It's honest. So they're going to want to keep creating new things, new endeavors together. And also that magician is a very strong magnetic attraction. So there'll be a strong physical attraction as well. Why is uh, magician and justice here moving forward? And temperance. Look at all those major arcana. This is a big deal. This is an important person, Aquarius. You know, listen, I don't talk about twin flame and soulmate and all that very much. But this is definitely, if we're doing a soulmate reading, this is it. Justice, you know, can even be a uh, twin flame soulmate. There's a difference. There's a big difference in those two. But I'm just saying, you know, and also too, it's like, hey, let's take our time, right? They're going to want to move forward with you. Again, a lot of balance. So I do feel as though they'll know right away that you bring some sort of balance to their life. It makes them feel fresh and calm and light. And it's just a very airy energy between the two of you. I like this reading. I like this match a lot. Temperance is just kind of calm, cool, collected, right? Like, let's just take it in stride. It's not like, it's not like, you know, gross player type energy. It's somebody that's like, hey, let's go try something new together. Let's, you know, try a new adventure. Let's take our time. Let's go outside. Why do I get like you guys are going to be outside a lot? Look, speaking of, you know, soulmate, there you go again with the Six of Cups. Doing things that bring nostalgia as well. So moving forward, Six of Cups can be about children. It can be about a friendship as well, a very strong friendship. This person also, again, wants to build that. They want a, a friendship, a lover, a relationship, someone that they can have a lot of fun with. And they see that in you. And it's interesting because coming into the reading, of course, you're so serious. Right, like really serious and slow and kind of going with it. But look at the fast energy on that hermit. You've got the eight of wands, the six of swords. It's travel, yes, but it can also just talk about, you know, metaphorically speaking, traveling forward. Your energy seems to speed up when being around this person or coming into union with this person. And this person's like, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So again, that Six of Cups can, of course, be your past, but it's so much more than that. It's really, you know, moving forward. That Six of Cups is like, wow, Aquarius feels like home. I've known them before. Let's keep doing this. It's beautiful. It's light. I love it. What's your relationship? The star. So again, there you are. Major Arcana for Aquarius. That's your energy. And the star is all about manifestation and wishes and, of course, being hopeful that something can push forward. It's really your dreams, your wishes coming in, but your relationship together. Again, we go back to manifestation, doing things together that you're like, see, it's, it's almost, um, again, I keep saying spiritual, but it is. And it's almost like you guys saying, you know, write down your affirmations. This can really happen. And you guys do it together. Do you know how difficult it is to find somebody like that that you can be on the same page with? It's nice. And it doesn't surprise me that they show with so much water 
uh, yes, loving, yes, emotional at times, but also quite intuitive. Why is the star your relationship together? The four swords, healing, look at that. And the star can really represent healing too. We don't have to just get stuck on healing past love situations. This could be past life connections as well. Very meditative energy, the star with the four swords. This is going out and doing things that you love, of course, but there's some sort of um, meditation tied to this. Again, it reminds me very much of like, you know, you go do like meditative yoga together or something like that. Something that you can incorporate healing, but also spending time together. But it's not like cringy. You know what I mean? It's actually something that's quite beautiful. And you have this huge thing in common. You may not even realize it when they first come into your life. Why is the star with the four swords here and the queen of wands? Look how happy she is, Aquarius. So you got uh, Leo, Aries energy there, typically Sag, but it's just embodying and taking on that energy of the queen of wands, taking action, feeling passionate, feeling fiery. Hell, maybe you do hot yoga, who knows? But this is a lot of passion with the queen of wands, your, your relationship together. This is a real turn on is what I'm saying. I wonder if I'll get in trouble from saying that on YouTube. Certain channels can get away with that, but I don't know if mine can, but I said it and I'm not taking it back. So your relationship together is passionate, it's heated, it's getting out there, being spontaneous, but also, you know, again, doing things that you both love. And I really do feel like it has something to do with um, meditation, healing, incorporating those things together and then also looking for new interests along the same you know kind of the same lines of spirituality whether that's like you i hell i don't know maybe you guys take a tarot class together who knows but it is definitely something like that i could see you two like sitting in a park in the spring shoes off running through the grass you've packed a picnic and then you guys get into this deep conversation about the afterlife, your past life. And you both are like, yeah, I believe in that. And then you just start making out because there's a lot of heat. Queen of Wands. <laughs> look, and then we have an emperor. Yeah, look at that bossing up. The emperor, two very strong energies with the Queen of Wands and the emperor. This is, you know, a daddy. The emperor is, is the divine masculine. He's a husband, he's a father, but he's all about regaining control and stability. He can be a little controlling, but he builds his empire. And look at him in this deck, whether it's an Aries or not. I mean, he looks pretty like he's in control, right? That's who you go to when you need something done. You go to the emperor because he wants to nurture. He wants to be a provider. I like the emperor. I need an emperor in my life. If there's any emperors out there, let me know. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I love this energy. Man, I feel like, God, I feel like you're finding, you're finding your soulmate. And I know people throw that around a lot in the tarot community, but that's really what this feels like. It feels like such a nice connection. I don't have a drop of Aquarius in my chart. And right now I'm wishing I did. All right, let's pull some <laughs> advice cards for future love. So if you're an Aquarius sun, What's your advice when it comes to this future love? Aquarius sun, what do you need to know? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I think that goes for any Aquarius that you have in your chart, y'all. I said it at the beginning, I said it at the end, and I'm not taking it back. What if you're an Aquarius moon? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like that's getting out of that hermit energy, like not being so tightly wound. Do you know what I mean? Like lighten up a little bit, free yourself. This person will bring that out of you. I think you already kind of want it. And then boom, here it is. What if you're an Aquarius rising ascendant? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And I think also too, that hermit energy is all about like, what are you trying to uncover? You're kind of going in there. Make sure that you don't self-sabotage as well, right? with you know kind of going within pulling away you guys have definitely dealt with some ick energy you know keep it free keep it light you know it's fun what if you're um an aquarius venus what do you need to know this could be the one absolutely you've already met the romantic partner you seek and that goes right back to that energy of having so much in common 
right? It's like something about this connection will bring that enlightenment and you're going to be like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what I've been wanting. It's amazing. I love it. All right, on the extended reading, let's do it. Let's find out more about the future love. I want to see how it moves forward. Like, are they forever? Are they just for now? Like, what's going to happen here? This is a strong ass connection. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to dive into their energy and see what they're thinking about all this. So we're going to go do that now. Also, quick message, uh, book your April reading, private readings. Those sessions are going to be closing pretty soon because mom here is pretty slammed. So if you want a private reading, go ahead and book it. All that information is below to book your private readings. Other than that, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see y'all over on the extended. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.